welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in as always. Okay y'all, so really quickly, I wanted to go ahead and bring you all a natural hair video. So as you can probably see by the title, I'm not doing a tutorial, but instead I wanted to give you all an update on how I do my kinky twist and how I maintain them. So about a month ago, I made a how-to kinky twist um, natural hair tutorial and it was my first time doing kinky twists. I don't know if you all know this about me quite yet, I'm a perfectionist. I was not very pleased with how I did my kinky twist in the last video and I also didn't leave them a very long because I didn't like them. <laughs> so instead, I decided to try this all over again to make sure I could get it right and also to really show you all that the technique I used on my hair in that video was perfect but it was more so um, my parts and how much hair that I used that really like gave my hair a different kind of look that I wasn't exactly going for versus what my hair looks like today. So really quick, I want to give you all a 360 view of what my hair looks like this go around with my kinky twist. Okay. So here is the front, and all I've really done is just like push my hair to the side, but okay. And the side, the back, and the other side, okay? And as you all can also see, I went ahead and curled my ends, and y'all know I had to keep a little bit of color, so I still have the red in my hair, okay? And then here's a little closer look as to what my parts look like. Now, now, my parts may look a little familiar to you all if you watched my latest natural hair tutorial because what I have done in order to like part my hair for this look is that I use the exact same parts that I used for my space bun tutorial. Okay, so the only thing I did different is that I used the same baseline, okay? But all I did was like divide each horizontal part into like two to four parts, okay? So this would have been one row and I just divided it into three parts, okay? So y'all, like I said, I have curled my hair and everything like that. So I mainly wanted to highlight on one, how I maintain this look and how I keep my hair up. And also, um, just so you all know, my hair has already been up for about a week and it looks pretty fresh, so I'm pretty excited. And I'm also gonna talk about a little bit of the alterations that have taken place in order for my hair to look the way it does today. All right, so number one, as far as how I maintain my look. So what I typically do once my hair has been up for about a week, because that's typically when it starts to kind of dry out, is that I make a water and oil mixture like you all may see in my videos quite often and so the only thing that is in here is basically this oil mix it with water it doesn't really matter what kind of oil you use so what I typically do in the mornings once I unwrap my hair is that I just go throughout my parts and I just spray my hair okay I missed it I move my hair around and just make sure that I am getting my parts my hair my edges all of that okay of course in the mornings I do a more in-depth um, misting routine but I just wanted to show you all what that looks like and I felt like it was very important for me to bring you all this video just because back in the day when I used to do my box braids I never thought about misting my hair with any kind of liquid because I thought it may mess up my hair or something but that's what's really good about Marley hair is that it blends really well with natural hair so I wouldn't worry so much about the frizzing of your hair okay but what I used to do is I would apply like grease or just oil or something else to my scalp. That is a no-no, y'all, don't do that. Do not put any kind of heavy grease or leave-in conditioner by itself in your hair. Don't do that. I feel like somebody out there does that because it was me, so I'm trying to help you out. Don't do that because all it's gonna do is build up in your hair, okay? It's gonna probably start to flake and then it's gonna itch. Like, you're just really gonna make a big mess because I've already put gel in my hair when I created my kinky twist. So if you think about that, I already have gel and grease in there. The last thing I need to do is apply all of these other heavier products in my hair daily or every other day or even weekly. Water and oil is good. And then you also don't wanna just apply oil to your hair because as we all know, oil is a sealant. So if your hair is dry and you're putting oil on there, it's just gonna stay dry. So you don't wanna be counterproductive in your daily routine. So number two, I wanted to show you all how I like wrap my hair and I keep my curls. So what I'm gonna do first is put my hair into a high pineapple ponytail, so to speak. Okay. So I'm just gonna put all of my hair forward. I'm gonna take my headband, wrap it around twice, and then I'm just gonna continue to put my hair in a pineapple ponytail. So then my hair ends up looking like this. I then begin to wrap my hair with a scarf, 
Y'all, I just lost my scarf. It's a daily hassle. But anyway, I still throw on my bonnet. So then I just apply that from the back. Make sure all of my hair is falling to the front and it's all tucked in. That is it. Like, it's super simple. That's the one thing I love about box braids and kinky toys. Like, maintenance is on a level zero. So then in the morning, like I said, I'll take this off and I'll take it down. And my hair is back to normal. Yes. So that is how I maintain my kinky twist so far. The last thing I really wanted to talk to y'all about, about my second go round of kinky twist and what I basically learned from the last time was being more proportional when it comes to my hair and my actual part. In the last video, you can see how, I think I only used one strand of hair for each little box braid and it kind of looked off because the parts were very big, but then my twists were like really small. So as you can see with this, my kinky twists are quite a bit bigger than what they were the first go round, and it takes up more of the part itself, okay? So that was something I really wanted to be intentional about because in my mind, it just looked like really, really weird. Versus this time, my hair is a lot more full, okay? Everything looks a lot better. So what I wanted to go ahead and talk to you all about is if you didn't want that long kinky, twist look down your back and you wanted something more shoulderly. You do want to be mindful about the length of your hair. And so that was something I ran into. I didn't know if I could like cut the hair in half in order to get my hair at a shorter length just because of the length of my real hair. But really quickly, all I did in order to achieve this thicker, fuller look as well as shorter kinky twist was this. Okay, now y'all, before I show y'all this, don't judge me. This is like recycled and old Marley hair, but so is everything else in my head. I really don't care, but I'm just trying to be transparent. <laughs> okay, so what I have done is grab, it's three strings of Marley hair. Okay, and this is all of the regular length, okay, that may come in a bag. So all I have done is literally cut it in half, just like so. So this is the first half, okay? And then all I did was fold that in half. And this is what I use for each kinky twist in my hair. And it's pretty long, as you all can see. So that's all I did. If you want a shorter look, just cut the hair in half, okay? And you could also continue to cut if your hair is even shorter. I mean, that's completely up to you. But like I said, I just wanted half of what I had last time. And this is how I achieved it, okay? Um, like I said, this isn't my usual natural hair tutorial, but I did wanna follow up and show you all my second go round and also like prove to you all, I mess up so many times. A lot of times when there are like weeks in between my videos, it's because I have messed up and I came up with a really ugly hairstyle and I was too embarrassed to show y'all, like real talk. So I know a lot of y'all think I'm just out here doing it and figuring it out. Real players mess up, y'all. Like, <laughs> just to be 100, like, I mess up all of the time. So, okay, so, as always, I hope this video was super informative. And above all, I hope it inspired you all to continue to try and just know that, hey, we all have those days. So, as always, thank you all so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, what my old kinky twist look like, I'll drop that video down below to make sure that you visit it and you take all the pieces that you need from this video to that video so that your kinky twist can come out flawless because that's what you deserve. <laughs> all right, so I will catch you guys later. Bye.